Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video I want to show you a, a demo for the future control. So uh, I have this uh, order applications. Okay, in our previous video we have uh, seen how we can change the status, right? Uh, whatever the status what we want. Like you now you can select some instance and if you click on this modify status, this you can give an input. In case if you miss this video, just click on this i button. You can watch that video. So, so now I want to enhance some of the logic here. Okay. For example, let's say uh, the status refund completed and delivered. So these for this particular status, I don't want to change the you know uh, status by the end user. Why? Uh, so because it's already delivered and it's already the refund completed which means it's somewhat it's completed so for some reason i want to restrict here you know this modify status operation okay so in this case you can apply uh, you know feature control so the feature controls can be applied to columns okay like uh, if you want to set the certain columns as mandatory or if you want to set the certain columns as read only Otherwise, uh, the feature control will give you option to do to restrict the data or some operation basically based on the instance uh, data. Instance data here I mean like uh, if you take this order example, here the status is refund complete. Here this status is delivered. So each each of the record will we will call it as an instance. So based on this status data. Uh, we can decide whether this modify status operation will allow or not. So basically that is uh, that is the use case we wanted to try. So let's go back to the Eclipse. This is my base behavior definition. So we know that we have already defined this behavior definition and uh, you know, we have implemented as well in our previous video. So what I have added here is you know, future instance. So uh, this is what you know. Uh, I want to set this action or operation. You know, uh, I want to control this operation based on this feature. But how uh, for the particular for the each instances? Okay. So if there is another option also available called uh, global. So this, if you define this as a global, then it will be applicable for all the instances. So uh, yeah, so already we have uh, you know somehow we implemented this update status right. So where we use it to write the logic. So wrap provides you know a method called get futures, get instance futures for the instance future. Okay. So this is my order class. So this is my get instance futures. So if we go here, so basically uh, the logic what i'm trying is very simple you know whatever the keys i'm you know uh, i'm selecting in the ui so i try to read it from the buffer okay then i loop it okay once i loop the result so i am checking for each status okay if if the status is you know zero four which is uh, you know uh, uh, delivered or if the status is zero six which is a uh, now refund completed then i set this you know uh, feature control o disabled okay so this is nothing it's just a it's just a constant from this interface it has a value of 0 1 for the disabled but for the uh, enable it just has a value of 0 0 so uh, for the remaining other statuses i just enable the feature control okay so once i have done this i have this no result in my local variable so this local variable i am updating to the two output parameters let's say like for the results and reported so the mandatory is the result okay here if you don't give it so the feature control option will not work as expected so make sure that whatever you get the results you have to provide the result to the particular action because here in this case we are you uh, know uh, restricting the certain operations right uh, so i want to restrict the update status so you could have multiple actions so which action you want to restrict based on the instance data okay 
So I have given it here. This modify status could be 0, 01 or 00, 0 based on the status value. Then this 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 is kind of a key. So so for the result, I just want to you know particular instance, what are the instance, right? Uh, so we are looping that instance. I want to you know restrict the this operations. That is what this uh, statements means. And uh, finally, this uh, reported orders usually we do it for you know messaging purpose to the UI. So the same thing you await the you no know, transactional key here. Then what is the action for which action you are uh, you know showing this error message? Then finally with the error message. So the error message is nothing. Modify state is not applicable to this instance. That's it. Okay. So this is this is basically you know. Uh, definition and implementation so let's uh, quickly you know see the demo okay so let's say like uh, uh, this is one of the instance with the refund completed uh, status so i'll try to do modify status for this let's say zero one so you could see the error message modify status not applicable to this instance so this is our you know certain UUID which is the primary key for this particular order list. Okay. So let's say if what is the what if it is a mixed case, right? It would happen. So let's say we are selecting multiple entries, right? And uh, I'm selecting this two refund completed and two shipped. So uh, what I'm expecting the future control should you know restrict this two instance data, but should not restrict this two instance data. Okay. So let's try to do the modify status. Here I'll do something like 0, 02. So you could see there are two instances. Uh, it's a first two instance which we are getting the error message close. Then we get another pop up error message saying that two of four objects can't be processed. Right? And uh, that the two of four is nothing else, it's a refund complete status. So here you could see the in progress, it has been changed. It was a shift before. Okay, now it's in progress. So yeah, using the future control, you can somehow uh, restrict certain operations uh, based on the instance data. Yeah. So if you like the video, uh, please do thumbs up uh, and subscribe for uh, more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.